Ron C. Fast Jones, January 8, 1957 to August 19, 2023, was an American actor. Best known for his role as William Hill in the drama series This Is Us, 2016 to 2022, which earned him a Screen Actors Guild Award, along with four consecutive Primetime Emmy Award nominations, winning twice for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series in 2018 and 2020. Jones appeared in television series such as Mr. Robot, 2015 to 2016, The Get Down, 2016 to 2017, Luke Cage, 2016 to 2018, and Truth Be Told, 2019 to 2023. He also appeared in a number of films, including Half Nelson, 2006, Across the Universe, 2007, Glass Chin, 2014, The Holiday Calendar, 2018, Dog Days, 2018, and Dolmite Is My Name, 2019. In 2022, he was nominated for Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Play at the 75th Tony Awards, for his performance in the Broadway play Clydes. Jones and British-born jazz singer Kim Leslie had a daughter, American stage and screen actress Jasmine Cephas Jones. Jones died due to a long-standing pulmonary issue on August 19, 2023, at the age of 66. Jorn Riel, July 23, 1931 to August 18, 2023, was a Danish writer. Riel was born in Odense on July 23, 1931. He was partly known for works on Greenland as he lived there for 16 years. One of his works was adapted to film as Before Tomorrow, Le Jour Avant Le Lendemain. Riel died in Kuala Lumpur on August 18, 2023, at the age of 92. No cause of death was given recently. Carol Joseph Bo Bobko, December 23, 1937 to August 17, 2023, Call, USAF, RET, was an American aerospace engineer, retired U.S. Air Force officer, test pilot, and a former USAF and NASA astronaut. Bobko was the first graduate of the U.S. Air Force Academy to travel in space. Bobko became part of NASA Astronaut Group 7 in September 1969 after the cancellation of the Man Orbiting Laboratory ML, program. He was a crew member on the highly successful Skylab Medical Experiment Altitude Test, SMET, a 56-day ground simulation of the Skylab mission, enabling crewmen to collect medical experiments baseline data and evaluate equipment, operations and procedures. Bobko was a member of the astronaut support crew for the Apollo Soyuz Test Project ASTP. This historic first international manned space flight was completed in July 1975. Subsequently, he was a member of the support crew for the space shuttle approach and landing tests conducted at Edwards Air Force Base. He served alternately as Capcom and Prime Chase pilot during these approach and landing tests alt flights. In preparation for the first flight of Columbia, STS-1, Bobko served as the lead astronaut in the test and checkout group at Kennedy Space Center. He died on August 17, 2023 at the age of 85. David Ostrowski David Ostrowski Vinograd, December 1, 1956 to August 17, 2023, was a Mexican actor. David Ostrowski Vinograd was born on December 1, 1956 in Mexico City, Mexico, and was of Jewish descent. His father, Pedro Ostrowski, was Lithuanian Jewish from Kiev, Ukraine, and his mother Gwena Vinograd was from Poland. Ostrowski was known for his mustache, and for appearing in numerous telenovelas, and plays in Mexico City. David Ostrowski died on August 17, 2023 at the age of 66. No cause of death was given recently. Gary Young, May 3, 1953 to August 17, 
2023, was an American musician and music producer best known as the original drummer of the indie rock band Pavement from its inception in 1989 until his departure in 1993. Garrett Allen Robertson Young was born in Mamaroneck, New York on May 3, 1953. His father, Bob Young, was an engineer in the plastics business with deep knowledge of carbon fiber. He worked with Ned Steinberger in the development of the construction of his electric base for the Steinberger Company. After leaving Pavement, Young released three albums, Hospital, Things We Do For You, and the Grey Album under the name Gary Young's Hospital. The music video for the song, Plant Man, was featured in the Beavis and Butthead Season 5 episode, Skin Trade. In 2016, he collaborated with recording engineer Richard Seleseth on the album Malfunction. Young also developed and patented the universal shock mount used for microphones. Making them each individually himself, he has sold over 13,000 units to distributors and online. Young was ranked number 42 of the 50 greatest rock drummers by Stylus Magazine. In 2023, he starred in a documentary about his own life and career made by Jedi. Rosenberg and titled Louder Than You Think. The film had its world premiere at South by Southwest on March 13, 2023 and received critical acclaim, winning the Audience Award, Alan French of Sunshine State Cinempex called it, illuminating and nostalgic, and Serena Segadoni of Loud and Clear Reviews called it, compelling. Gary Young died at his home in Stockton on August 17, 2023, at the age of 70. John Richard Generet, July 23, 1942 to August 17, 2023, was a Canadian television and radio personality. Best known as the play-by-play -play announcer for the National Hockey League's Buffalo Sabres and its broadcast network, the Sabres Hockey Network for 51 years. Having started with the team on radio during the team's second season in 1971-72, and ending his career after the 2021-22 season, he was the longest tenured play-by-play -play announcer with a single team in NHL history. He moved to television during the 1995-96 season and began doubling both television and radio play-by-play -play duties during the 1997-98 season. He is known as RJ, within the Sabres organization and by close associates. Generet was a Canadian citizen of Swiss descent. He was born on July 23, 1942, in St. Catharines, Ontario, and raised in Terrace Bay, Ontario. He was known for his energetic delivery, especially during big plays and fights, colorful player nicknames, passionate goal calls, and his trademark suspenders worn on air an uncanny resemblance to late comedian Rodney Dangerfield. Gina died on August 17, 2023, from multiple organ failure, which his family stated had begun in 2021 during his final season with the team. He was 81. Igor Yasilovic, Russian September 24, 1941 to August 19, 2023, was a Soviet and Russian film and theater actor, film director and pedagogue. Yasilovic was born in the village of Rainfeld, now Zalesai, in Koshkinsky district of Kaibyshev Oblast. In 1962 he graduated from the cast, and then, in 1974, directing department Gerasimov Institute of Cinematography. From 1962 he became an actor of experimental theater studio Pantomime, in 1964 to 1994, Theater Studio of Film Actor, 1994, Moscow Youth Theater. Yasilovic played over 170 roles in cinema, his debut appearance being in En Route, 1961, albeit uncredited. Igor Yasilovic died from kidney disease on August 19, 2023, at the age of 81.